Well, hello there, and what brings you to the North Pole? Well, if you're looking for that Christmas spirit, well then, your timing is perfect, because we're about to put on a special Christmas concert. And let's face it, nothing captures the feeling of the holiday season better than Christmas music. We call our musical event the Yamaha Piano Christmas Concert Celebration. Now, I'm known up here as Elf Tommy, and I'm gonna be your host. During this musical celebration, you're gonna be visited by a group of very talented piano elves. One by one, we'll visit each one of my friends, and we'll talk about Christmas. We'll share some stories. And then in the true holiday spirit, guess what? They're gonna give you a gift, their gift of music. So let's begin our concert and unwrap our first gift because it's starting to get a little cold up here. I can't think of a better artist to start our celebration than my good friend, Dan. Hey, Elf Dan, Elf Danny, how are you? Elf Danny? See, Tom, you and I have known each other for so long. You're about the only person, maybe a couple others, that still call me Danny, even though, of course, now I'm known as my formal name, Dan. But yeah, I thought for Elfdom uh, that Danny would be more appropriate for today. I, I think it's perfect I mean, because you're a piano elf and and I love the ears, the hat and everything. What's that little thing on your, your outfit there? Right there's something right there. A couple of years ago, I wore this and won the uh, Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest at uh, the uh, Dana West Yacht Club. Uh, the award was very justified. There's no question about it. So people criticize, I almost got disqualified because it's not a sweater. <laughs> well, you look very corporate for an elf. Why don't you share a story about Christmas, maybe something that's in your past or something for our, our, our listeners. Let's see, Christmas, you know, my family is so important to me and uh, uh, probably some of my fondest memories of Christmas where my entire family is, is I'm the youngest sibling of four. And uh, as all the, my older siblings started having kids, um, it was tough to get together on Christmas day. So what we would do is always gather at my brother's house on Christmas Eve and we'd go to mass together and we'd have my, my brother would always play Santa Claus. It was just great family memories. You know, there were, I don't know, probably over 20 of us all together and, uh, uh, even when I lived in Wisconsin, it was important for me to go back with my kids to celebrate with family. So that's an important thing. And being Polish, there's something called opłatek, and we would share this so on Christmas Eve. It's a very important Polish tradition. It's a, a very thin wafer. It's almost like a communion wafer. And everyone would get a piece and you'd walk around and wish each other, you know, tell them how much you love them, what they mean to you, and wish them only the best for next year. And, you know, tears would flow. That's and awesome. uh, it was just very important. And then, of course, Christmas morning, Kielbasa and eggs. You have to have a kielbasa and eggs. <laughs> All right. We're both from the East Coast, so I know what you're talking about here. Uh, I don't want to wafer too much from this conversation, but I would uh, like to actually now talk about what song are you going to play? What, what, how about music and Christmas? Let's talk about music and Christmas. Music and Christmas. Actually, the very first song I ever played by ear, and it hurt because I got my ears stuck in the key. <laughs> Um, but is when I first decided you could could play the piano was Little Drummer Boy. Remember the guy named Larry Ferrari who used to be oh Larry yeah he was a legend in Philadelphia played on had his own TV show and um, he had a Christmas album and my dad knew somebody who knew him anyway so we would listen to this Christmas album over and over and I learned how to plunk out Little Drummer Boy on the piano and that sort of is the how kickoff. That was probably four or five. Oh my God, that's amazing. And uh, so that's kind of what started off for me. And, you know, I love Christmas music. And uh, so the song I'm going to play today is called Do You Hear What I Hear? And oh, excuse me, it's, what? Yeah, hello? <laughs> so anyway, uh, what's interesting is you, I, I was doing a, um, an arrangement for our church when we lived up in the Bay Area and uh, for our Christmas program. And... This is actually inspired by our friend Jason Nyberg, who did a sort of a Latin uh, version of Here, Here We Come a Caroling uh, on the climate of this like over 20 years ago. And um, so I, I always remember that arrangement. It was so cool. And so I thought that'd be kind of, kind of fun to do to another song. So, uh, so do you hear what I hear is what I'm about to play. Well, everyone's in for a treat. Danny's arranging is unbelievable. His playing's great. Uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, wait, I got coffee here. 
This ain't coffee. <laughs> Danny, I'm wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas and, uh, and of course, a Happy New Year. And uh, let's play your song. All right. Thanks, Don. My pleasure. Now that was a great performance and we got many more songs coming your way. Hey Tom, how are you? Jim, what are you doing here? I was going to come to California to see you. Well, I was born in Boston and at Christmas time I really missed the snow. So I decided to come and see you. Besides, I'd never been to the North Pole before. Well, as you can see, it's kind of cold up here, but I'm glad you're here. I've known Jim since I was just a little kid. Yeah, you're still a little kid. You haven't grown much. <laughs> Why do you think I chose the elf outfit? Well, kids, now, that's the magic word. 
When I think about my Christmases past, I have great memories when I was a kid. And then Christmas took on new meaning when I had my own kids. And now, seeing Christmas through the eyes of my grandson, Teddy, it's ever more magical. You know, Teddy, he's really growing up fast. I mean, look at him now. He's adorable. Talking about our past, Jim, I remember when we grew up, organ music was very popular. I even came to one of your Yamaha organ concerts when I was just a little kid. I remember that. Yeah, I grew up playing the organ. Playing the pipe organ during Christmas services, now that's another one of my fond Christmas memories. There's nothing like the sound of a pipe organ echoing through the church while the congregation sings Christmas carols. Christmas carols. So, what are your favorite Christmas carols? Uh, Joy to the World, Silent Night, Away in a Manger. Oh, stop on that one. Away in a Manger. I remember you playing a great piano performance of Away in the Manger. Well, Tom, let's make that my Christmas gift to you and to our guests. Great. It's great seeing you. Merry Christmas to all.
I don't know about you, but I've been really good this year, so I know Santa is going to give me something very special. I mean, I managed a toy shop, fed the reindeer, even fixed his Wi-Fi on his computer. What? You're saying he has something for me now? Are you kidding me? Here's my gift. Look at this, a robotic dog from Santa. Ooh. Hey buddy, this is Maverick, and Maverick's going to be our co-host. Hey, have you been enjoying the music? The music was great. All right, well, who are we going to hear next? Who should be the next artist? Who? Jason, your friend Jason? Wow. Good choice. All right, let's go hear Jason. Hi, Jason. Merry Christmas, and how are you doing? Hey, Tommy, I'm doing great. Just enjoying being home for Christmas, uh, just like the song, Home for the Holidays. Wow, that's a beautiful home, Jason. I love the tree, the decorations, the fireplace. What a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's, uh, I love it. It's a perfect home. It's great for parties. We pack all sorts of people in here. Of course, we're socially distanced, you know, six feet apart. Now, Jason, I hear every year as a tradition, you go into the woods and you cut down your own tree like a lumberjack. Is that true? Yep, that's true. Grew up in Minnesota, so we had lots of trees to choose from there. So we'd go out and cut them. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just out uh, looking around at some trees here. Got lots to choose from. In fact, oh, there's a good one right there. What's going on, Jason? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I was getting a little cold looking for Christmas trees, so now I'm on the beach getting a little Christmas tan. <laughs> well, it looks like Santa brought you a green screen for Christmas last year. Now, Jason, we've been friends for a long time. And I know that Santa's gonna take care of you this Christmas because you're just a great guy. I know if I ask Jenny about you, she's gonna say, he's a great husband. And if I ask your kids about you, they're gonna say, you're a wonderful dad. So, if we were gonna make a movie called Christmas with the Nybergs, and I was a director, and you were gonna write the screenplay, what would be one of the scenes from your Christmas past? Oh, we've got lots of happy memories. I've got four kids, and one of my favorite things when they were little was to keep them out of the living room on Christmas morning until we could get up. We would cover the doorway with wrapping paper so they couldn't see into the room and see any of the presents. And then when we'd do a countdown, we'd go three, two, one, and they'd burst through the paper. And it was really an exciting morning. In fact, we still do it today, even though they're older. Jason, that was fantastic. What a great tradition. Now it's music time. So why don't we play a song that captures the feeling of Christmas from when you were a kid. What song would you play? Well, when I was a kid, the main thing I remember is snow. Growing up in Minnesota, we had no shortage of snow, which was great because it always made for a very white Christmas. Of course, it also made for a white Valentine's Day, a white Easter, white Memorial Day, uh, but nonetheless, uh, lots of snow. So what's more appropriate than the song, Let It Snow? This is my gift to you. Merry Christmas, everybody.
Okay, we've had some great music, and it's uh, who we're we gonna hear from next. What's the next piano elf? Wait, hear that? Hear that? Oh, that's my signal. This is gonna be Craig. Hey, Craig, how are you doing? Hey, I can only use this sound once a year, so I'm going to play this during our whole interview here. Is that okay with you? <laughs> That's perfectly okay with me, Craig. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Tommy. <laughs> That's Christmas in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, we're going to have a lot of fun, and thank you so much for joining the Piano Elves. What's going on over there? Wait a minute. Where are you? I'm looking... Well, I'm up here in the North Pole making little itty bitty pianos for little itty bitty elves. Is it cold up there? Yes, it is. It's cold where I am. I don't know if you know, I sold my house in California and I'm up here in Duluth, Minnesota. And uh, actually near Hayward, but uh, have you ever been to Duluth? No, Craig, I've never been there. Yeah, if you go to Minneapolis and then you hail down the bus and uh, it says Duluth on it, um, there's a guy who went down there and he knocked on the window and he says, is this the bus that goes to Duluth? And the driver looked at him and says, no, it's not the bus that goes to Duluth. It's the bus that goes beep, beep. All right, Craig, where's the effect? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I expect that from you. Well, it's Christmas time and what are you going to do this year? Are you visiting anybody? Always go down to um, Texas, uh, spend Christmas with the family. A little bittersweet in the sense that my uncle and his aunt are in their 80s and it was decided that it's probably best that I not go down there. So we're going to be doing a lot of this type of thing, you know, so uh, but it's been an unusual year for sure. Yeah, this is the norm today. But Craig, it wasn't the norm when we were kids. Now, do you have any Christmas stories from when you were a kid that you would like to share? You know, I remember different gifts at times, but there was something that happened once that um, we all went, I think it was 1967, something like that. We all went to Christmas Eve dinner, and we were going to come back. You go to bed, and of course, you get up early uh, for uh, uh, when Santa arrives on Christmas morning. When we got back from dinner, Santa had already been there. We did not know what was going on. I was, well, we just opened the presents, but I have no idea why to this day. Craig, I can tell you why. I worked for Santa in 67. That's when the labor laws kicked in so the elves could have vacation time. <laughs> oh, so you remember that year, 67. Yes, I do. I do remember it. Yeah, you know, Tommy, by the way, I've been, you know, I know I'm going to be playing a piece that we recorded a little bit before and that's why people are here but I came up with two theme songs this year has been more like a little Adams family ish but uh, I suggest that this year's theme song should be pick up the pieces <laughs> Craig you really crack me up and you're a nut you really are a nut all those crazy things you do. So what song are you gonna play for us? You're exactly right. Tommy's always been the perfect person to lead me into something. By the way, we've spent so much time together on stages. And so that was Tommy's way of saying, I'm gonna play the theme to the Nutcracker as my contribution. So I wanna thank everyone for inviting us in your home. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and enjoy the music from the Nutcracker.
Oh, it was fun seeing that again. I can't believe Tommy and I spent all that time trying to animate that special guest. By the way, you know, Tommy has often, when I've worked with him, represented himself as a yard gnome. And it's really weird seeing him as an elf, but he is also an amazing pianist. So Tommy, I think it's very important that uh, you play for us. So what would you like to play as your Christmas gift? Well, Craig, thank you very much. Thanks for the uh, song invite. I would love to play a song and offer you everybody a gift as well. Um, I'm thinking about, all right, Christmas memories. When I was in high school, I dated a girl named Carol, and she never wanted jewelry or flowers. The only gifts that she wanted, she was a collector. She just wanted little bells, like little Christmas bells, bells, things that ring. So I'm going to play the Dunn Segway, Carol of the Bells. <laughs> Sorry. Well, look who's here, it's Maverick. Hey Maverick, you know my favorite things about playing Christmas carols? Is that you can take a Christmas carol and make it your own. You can take jingle bells and you can play it as a reggae. You can take jingle bells and you can play it as a, a big band arrangement. You can even take jingle bells and play it as rock and roll like Jerry Lee Lewis. So that's what we're gonna do with Carol the Bells. We're gonna play a song, Carol the Bells, and we're gonna basically mess around with the theme a little bit, play it in a classical piano style, and play it a little bit more like freestyle, and then even at the end, a Latin bossa nova. Hope you enjoy.
So Maverick, you enjoying the music so far? Yes, I am. Well, you want to do a little Lion King? Lion King. All right, so, what, you have a joke? What's your joke? Who delivers presents to dogs? Who? Santa Paws? That's pretty funny. All right, we're going to listen to the next artist now. So Maverick, why don't you go and feed the reindeers? Now it's time to talk to another talented piano elf. And this one plays piano and sings. It's my good friend, Gabe. Hey, Gabe, how are you doing over there? I'm doing quite well. Happy holidays, Tommy. It's good to be here. So what are you doing in space? Huh? I'll tell you, I'm very, yeah, this is very avant-garde, right? For a holiday background. I had some little Zoom challenges, getting my snowy New York City background in, so we have to settle for space. Well, you look like Santa in space. Santa in space. Well, Gabe, thank you so much for joining us. Right off the bat, I want to ask you, do you have a memory when you were a kid at Christmas time you would like to share? Oh, I have a great Christmas memory. My, I come from a family of surprises, and it, they even try to keep it going these days, which means you have to create a fake surprise because we're so smart that we're, you know, we're assuming the surprise is going to come. So you really have to get creative. But when I was a kid, all my friends had big wheels, all right? This was in the mid-'70s, and I was so jealous. I, you know, I didn't have a big wheel. And um, so one Christmas, I, I was convinced I was going to get a big wheel. This was the year. I opened up all my presents, no big wheel. And, and it's that feeling when you didn't get that thing you really wanted. I mean, you got a lot of great stuff. My parents, you know, they, 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 they did it the best they could. And so they could tell the disappointment. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Thanks. You know, awesome. And then, you know, they said, you might want to go outside. <laughs> and I go outside and there wasn't, a, there wasn't a, a big wheel, but there was a brand new green machine. And the green machine had just come out. It had two handles and, and it was articulating. It had a pivot in the middle and it was like the big wheel crusher, right? 
and it had a big red bow on it and I just lost it. Ah! The green machine, that is awesome. <laughs> After all, we're elves. That's our ride to work. Well, now it's music time, so what song are you gonna play? I'm gonna play um, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. That's a great song. Do you know the movie it came from and do you know who sang it? I want to say it was um, first Lord of the Rings, and uh, I think it was sung by uh, Smeagol. No, wait, Gollum. There we go. <laughs> no, for that movie, it was All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth. Oh, my <laughs> mistake. I was mixing up. <laughs> Actually, this is going to show that I'm an old elf. The movie was Meet Me in St. Louis, and the singer was Judy Garland. Ju oh, yeah, Judy exactly. Garland. Now, when they wrote the song, the writers wrote the song with really sad words. It was about her saying goodbye to a little child. It was a daughter. And she says, no one's gonna sing this to a child. It's very sad. And she refused to sing the song. Well, weeks and weeks passed with her refusing to sing. And sure enough, they changed the lyrics to the song and history was made. Well, thanks for having me, Elf Tommy. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a blessing to perform this classic Christmas song for you all. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and have yourself a merry little Christmas and happy holidays and happy new year and blessings abound. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, our troubles will be miles away. Here we are, as in olden days, a happy golden days of the yore. Faithful friends, you know their dear to us, they gather near to us once more. together if the fates allow hang a shining star upon the high the highest man yeah have yourself a merry little Christmas now. A merry little Christmas now. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. That was a great song. Now, to wrap up our program, our Christmas concert celebration, we're going to actually visit two elves at one time. Now, this is a dynamic a couple that's just talented beyond talent. I mean, he's a great piano player. She's a fantastic vocalist. So they were both blessed with two major gifts. 
And uh, let's go visit my friends, uh, Tom Zink and Ann Walsh. Hey, how are you guys doing over there? We're doing great, Tony. So yeah, where are you? Where are you right now? We're in palm tree land, uh, unlike you. Long no Beach, California. Oh, wow. So, so no snow for you this year. No, it's beautiful. My dad is a great story. My dad, I grew up in New Jersey, lots of snow at Christmas time. I moved to California and he goes, what are you doing in California? There's no snow there. It doesn't feel like Christmas. And I never forget telling him that dad, you know, Jesus was born in Bethlehem and that's a desert. So I'm closest, closer to the spirit of Christmas than you are. That's right. It's <laughs> a good story. Well, I'm from Worcester, Massachusetts. So I know what your dad means about snow. the cold, yeah. the snow, the white Christmas. Uh, what's your memories with Christmas? Uh, when you were growing up as a kid, do you have a special memory or something you can think about you'd like to share with us? Our first Christmas together, I'm sure. Um, good answer. <laughs> that was awesome. But... I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we had, we, had great, we had great times going back to uh, Anne's fam folks because it's snow. And I, I grew up in Southern California, so I never had snow. But uh, I, think if, I think there was one thing that stuck out. This will make sense for a geek like me. Uh, I, my, my dad got me one Christmas when I was 18, he got me a Mac, the, one of the very, the very first Mac that came out. All the other kids want like, like toys, like bicycles and they want a football, basketball, and you wanted to type something on a typewriter. <laughs> well, you know what? I remember, this is a good memory. Uh, my mom surprised me and said, one of your Christmas presents is you're going to get ballet lessons. And I wanted to be a ballerina. I was so excited. I ran outside to tell my friends, and they're like, "So what?" You know, I thought, "Wow, I'm gonna." And I'm like, <laughs> "Can I go tomorrow?" And I had to wait. I had to wait. I had to wait. And then when you left, you went one, two, three, four, and you left. <laughs> 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 That's an awesome story. And those are the type of memories that, you know, they, they make movies out of those type of memories. Hey, there's a good question. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Hans Brinker and the Silver Skates. I can't find it, Tommy. Don't worry. I know Santa. I'm going to see if Santa can Thank produce you. something special for Christmas. All right. I think my favorite one is A Christmas Story with the uh, Red Rider BB gun. That is actually one of my favorites too. Uh, honestly, I watched that thing. And when I first watched, I thought I was watching a family movie because that's my dad. <laughs> that is exactly my family. I grew up in New Jersey. There's a lot of Elf Tommy in that one. I also know that Christmas is very spiritual for so many people. And I also know it's very spir spiritual for you. Do you get to sing at church? I always have. And Tom, yeah. do you get to play piano at church? Yeah, I'm, I play at a very small church. Um, I'm the piano player every week, and it's just all we do is hymns. I used to go to a very small church because the door was only four foot high, and I had to just <laughs> get into that small church. Right. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for sharing your gift of music in our program. I know we're going to start off with Tom performing a piece. Tom, tell us what you're going to play. I'm going to play What Child Is This? And uh, I was originally inspired by hearing Vince Guaraldi uh, do a performance of this song uh, from the Charlie Brown Christmas. And uh, he did a really, really uh, great jazz version of it. And this song really lends itself to, to kind of playing jazz it's in a minor key and it, you can do some alterations without ruining the song. It's still, still, you can keep the integrity of the song and really play around with it a lot. And it's a very fun song to play on. Well, I'm excited to hear this song, obviously, in a minor key. It's appropriate because Jesus was a minor. So I like what you're going here. All right. And we're going to hear now Tom Zink play What Child Is This?
Tom, that was a great performance, but now we're switching over to the talent of the talent of the family. <laughs> and we're going to hear Anne say, Anne, what are you going to perform? Or what are you going to sing for us? Uh, obviously, you have that angel-like voice. Uh, what are you going to sing for us? Oh, Holy Night. Oh, Holy Night is my mom's favorite song. So this one's going right to my heart. Tell me about the song. Is it an easy song to sing? It's a beautiful song. It's well written. The lyrics are great. The accompaniment's wonderful. The message is incredible. Uh, and it's a challenge. But uh, I, I fell in love with it as a kid. And I'm always happy to sing it.
Well, Maverick, that's the end of our Christmas concert celebration. Hope we all had a good time. I know you had a good time. I can't thank you enough for watching. And I want to take a second to thank all of the piano elves who participated in this event. Uh, I treasure our friendship. Thank you so much for your help on this. And for everybody who watched, we're wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a safe New Year. You want to wish you a Merry Christmas? Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry